Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Europa Universalis Rome, where we are capitalizing on a weakness in the Alliance Grid. Every weakness in the Alliance Grid must be must be exploited. At this point now, we have the uh, ground over the ocean, which is doom, certain doom for them to attack me. Atrobates can attempt that, sure. But let's face it, they're, they're not going to succeed there. They don't even have enough men to begin the siege. Canty will be annexed as they throw themselves at my men. Although I may not have any men to reinforce with, they're going to run out pretty quickly if they keep that up. Let's face it here. Like, they, they're, like I lost 96, they lost 2,500. They do not have the men to keep trying that. Let's face it. They, 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 they do not have the men to keep that up. Canty will be mine. And Atrobates will probably surrender. Uh, we... They actually have enough men to begin the siege now. That's fine. Even if they... They're, they're sieging a level 2 fort, and so am I. So No, Canty's only a level 1 fort. So I should actually get through this faster. And again, I have so many battles to go through. Uh, it might take me a little while. Uh, is Atrobates the war leader, or is it Canty? Canty is the war leader, so I can make separate peace with you. Uh, if you're willing to just walk out of here... No? Alright. <laughs> I made you an offer. Wow, my defenders in a level... Oh, no, wait, that's only level 1 fort. Damn it. For some reason, I keep thinking the AI's got level 2 forts, because the other three do. Half of us had level 2 forts, the others did not. Yeah, this is pretty much suicide for them to keep trying. Between the fact that I have heavy infantry, which is a 25% boost against them. Yeah, it's another 3,000 of their men dead. How much manpower could they possibly have to keep throwing at me? Let's face it. They only have two provinces. They have the same amount of manpower generation as I do. <laughs> Four thousand, they lose another one thousand five hundred. Like that's actually reinforced amazingly enough, as if though by some miracle. The problem is the siege doesn't really tick properly when there's battles. So, so yeah, we're down to six months until it should surrender. That's good. Also, there's no way Atrobates can be uh, having a positive income right now. Seriously, like, if, if you know what, I'll, I'll even, like, offer you... I wish I had money to offer them. Apparently, I don't, though. Like, I, I would be willing to just hand over a tiny bit of cash if it means them going away. Because I, I don't think I can take attributes on... Because I, it would be, it would mean me attacking over the channel. It just cannot be done. Three months, any day, yeah. They're combining their attempts. It looks like, except they're going to arrive in different months. Um, like if they ever actually combined their attempts, they might, maybe, just maybe have a chance, but not likely. Man, I'm just getting shit for rolls this time. Oh, so they actually dealt damage to me that time. Okay, great. You're going to walk in here and die, too. You've got to cross the river, so it's not like you're going to do very well. Your flanks collapsed. Retreat already. So, yeah. He's trying to go and hug up with them. Sooner or later, these guys are going to surrender. Like they, they just can't keep going. They're, can't he's actually got his units there. You freaking kidding me? 
How did... Uh, I guess they retreated from there to there. Jerks. Why don't you surrender? The vendors are desperate. I mean, Atrobates better be damn old desperate. Seriously, can I not just, like, give you some money to go away or something? I'm not gonna actually do that, but seriously. Yeah, they're, they're gonna reject that over and over again. They have 30% war score, so rightfully they should be. You've conquered enemy city. Finally. Annex. Alright, they have troops in my capital, so they're actually allowed to resist that. And I don't know if I have enough troops to drive them out. We're gonna have to hope I do. Oh, hey, they lifted the siege. This is the siege, and that's perfect then, because I'm out by March 22nd. Peace offer from Canty. Decline. Like, I don't think they have any men left either, so... The fact that they've lifted the siege is good enough to um, mean I don't think they can resist it anymore. So that's good enough for me. Yeah. Once they are... They were no longer able to resist that. And Iceni is at war with me, but they are, they somehow lost their occupation there. And I'm Corto Valley. Oh, I see. They uh, truced out with me because Canty was the war leader. Ha ha! Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever the hell I can. Hey, Roma, you got any trade routes I can have? Uh... But, yes, we got it. Although we pillaged it, so uh, it has no civilization left in it. That's okay. It's okay. We are still alive somehow. And no longer, we're, we are no longer under... Yeah, we can kind of trade around, hopefully. Yeah, you're at war with Atrobates and Brigantes. Brigantes is going to annex your ass. Cool. <sighs> Alright, so, one province to three realms. Yeah, this is a rough game. And it's going to be very hard to properly do this. Like, this is this is, this is is lucky for me. And, like, this is very lucky that I got a canty. War devices in Kore Valiuni, um, allied with Demoni and Gagani. Allied with Celates. Oh, Demoni. Sorry, that's up here. Siluri. Tiberni. Darn, really? Tiberni there. Oakbody, wow, you guys are doing good for yourselves over there. Don't want an alliance? Well, fuck you. <laughs> Problem is, we're still a little low on manpower. We're getting 100 a month now. That's a definite improvement. In 23 months, we'll actually uh, be fully recovered. Now, now that my ruler... Oh, you're not loyal to him. You're not loyal to him. No one became loyal to my ruler in that time. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. The other guy can still start a civil war and kick our ass. I'm hoping he's still at least somewhat loyal um, to us. We'll have a look here. Indunus, Coronid. If I sort by Marshall, he's probably at the top. No, he's not. Um, In fact, he does not appear to be in my court at all. Cool. That means he can't start a civil war. All the better. Eh, banish. Gold confiscated. 5.4 gold confiscated. Almost worth it. Oh. So is it? Wait, what? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Sort by that. Mike, I want to know, is he in my... Around here at all? It doesn't appear to be, so. Okay. Well, at least he can't start civil wars. So all that matters. 
what does ABC stand for? It's Latin for something, but in translated in English, it means since the founding of Rome. I am still streaming this, by the way, so I take random questions from the chat. All right. So now we just have to wait and recover. And with any luck, get enough money to get some stability going. I don't know. They're still at war with the Latin Veneti, so... Somebody's got to... Like, they've, they've, there's got to be truce made somewhere around here soon. Uh, so long as they're at war with the Latin Veneti, then I can't do anything to them. Ooh, getting pillaged by barbarians. I, Rome, sucks to be you. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, cloths for grain. Well, they desperately need that. Um. Oh no, I thought it was them, but cloth for grain's good. Sure. Um. Once this trader activates, we'll get to see some actual uh. Latin infinity. All right, I would say that would be the truce coming up. That's the I think that's enforced white peace because they aren't fighting. So the only two people left are the war leader and the guy who's actually occupying them. Which is good. That means somebody isn't protected anymore. Isn't that right, Demoni? Now, admittedly, I'd like to wait a little while and recover my manpower a bit. It will be otherwise quite the tough fight. I prefer not to. But uh, these guys have almost united Hi Hibernia, so they are a good ally to have. They're nearby, they probably have a decent navy. Two ships, yeah. Anno Vene Caesar. Yeah. Um, since the coming of Caesar. Tribal fractures. Sorry, what's this? Uh, tribal things happen to us. Our humble tribal system makes it difficult to maintain control over the conquered subjects. This is a very real danger that the tribe may break apart unless we evolve into a more advanced form of government. If your next ruler does not have eight, at least in one attribute, your country may share. Uh, who's my successor? Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, he's 40. How old am I? 44. Fuck. Who's the successor after him? Fuck. Nothing. I really don't want to have to off a lot of people. Looks like I would. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. 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 Thank you. So, in order to survive, I'm going to need to form the Britannian Nation. Because that will get me Tribal Federation. That, that allows me to rule multiple things, I think. Um, or devices, code of alienation. These two are not... Alright, I can do this. I can do this. I can beat all three. Or I can take all three on. Like, Brigantes is whatever. Uh, that's handleable. They're gonna get annexed. That's fine. Uh, but the first target I need now... Celates. Um, I have a valid Casas Belie, so I should be able to get it. I want to see if I can't get more allies that are, you know, in the web, per se. Like, if I, if I can get one or two more, that'd be amazing. Oh, well, at least I have these guys. We're no longer trading wood for iron from Brigantes to Trinavantes. Oh. I lost my ability to build more men. Damn. Oh, well. We'll be okay for a little while with that iron. Uh, somebody actually got the Latin translation for it. Uh, AUC Ar Ab Ubre Condita. From the founding of the city. Which effectively means from the founding of Rome. Which, uh, zero AVC is somewhere around 700 is 81, I think? 781 BC? Would be uh, the correct thing, so we're somewhere around 300 BC as it stands. Uh, Alright, so how much more do we need? 1,000. Alright, so we are still about 12 months out. 
But of course, we aren't going to go to war without a good, without something to help. Um, I'm debating whether or not I should straight out attack them. Like getting getting into the alliance thing is always a little hit and miss and messy. Not certain if I uh, want to just jump at it. They they occupy each other, so they both get to say no to this sort of thing, which is hilarious. I think Brigantes is winning though. I can't tell. I'm fairly certain they are. We'll see. Somebody's getting annexed sooner or later. Somebody's gonna get annexed. I actually have a Casas Bali on these guys, which is strange. No Casas Bali on you. No Casas Bali on you. What Casas Bali do I have on you? I don't know. It doesn't matter, really, does it? <laughs> Oh, I have a constant bleed on you too. Holy shit, I can charge this. Um, support rebels. Oh God does. Go. All right, so that should disrupt our relations. So we're going to war with them. That's fine. Uh, that initial. Um, court of alien. Temporary possibly because they I, I executed my the guy I sent. So that's fine. Stupid fucker shooting the messengers. I don't ever do that. Where's let the messenger go? Everyone's at war with them, which is hilarious. That's fine. Um, can I beat them there? All right. Now I declare war on these guys. That allows me to siege it and take it for myself. Whilst I hopefully manage to sit there and reinforce my men. And hopefully beat them. Brigantes seems more interested in sieging for that. That's fine then. We have the other guys too. That's even better. Uh, they're, they're, they've come. That's perfect. So we can just sit on that. Good. We can do this. But uh, I'm going to end this episode here. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, as always, this has been your host, Kaelvin, signing off.